Temperature is one of the most important physical quantities we measure in the modern world. From keeping your home comfortable, to preventing your phone from overheating, from controlling industrial machinery, to monitoring your body's health, temperature sensors silently work everywhere around us. But have you ever wondered how these tiny components actually detect heat? Today, let's decode the fascinating science behind temperature sensing and explore how different sensor types turn heat into usable electrical signals. At the heart of every temperature sensor is a simple idea. When heat changes, some physical property of a material changes along with it. Sensors monitor that change, maybe its resistance, voltage, current, or even the expansion of a metal, and convert it into a temperature reading. One of the most common types is the thermistor, a special resistor whose resistance changes rapidly with temperature. When it gets hotter, its resistance drops. When it cools, the resistance rises. This makes thermistors perfect for phones, chargers, batteries, and HVAC systems because they can react quickly and accurately. Then we have RTDs, resistance temperature detectors. These use pure metals like platinum, whose resistance changes very predictably with temperature. They're incredibly accurate and stable, which is why industries like aerospace, medical equipment, and manufacturing rely on them. If you see the term PT100 or PT1000, it refers to platinum RTDs with specific resistance values at zero degrees Celsius, a global standard for precision temperature monitoring. Another fascinating family is the thermocouple. These work on a completely different principle, the Seebeck effect. When you join two different metals and heat the junction, they generate a tiny voltage that corresponds to temperature. Thermocouples can survive extreme conditions, from deep cryogenic temperatures to over a thousand degrees Celsius, making them the go-to choice for furnaces, engines, and high-temperature industrial processes. Modern devices also use semiconductor temperature sensors, which output analog voltage, digital signals, or even calibrated temperature data. These sensors are found in smartphones, laptops, IoT devices, and microcontrollers because they're incredibly compact, low power, and easy to interface with. In the end, all temperature sensors use physics to detect heat and electronics to convert that heat into meaningful data. Whether it's keeping your CPU safe, adjusting your AC automatically, or ensuring factories run safely, temperature sensors are a perfect example of how science and engineering quietly shape our world.